Hey guys, uh, I got my first crack at a Doctor Doom in war tonight, so I had to jump on it as fast as I could and just take him out. Uh, of course, I wanted to use Black Order for this because, well, they're the answer to everything. And just a preview here to show what my Black Order team is like. It is 678 without buffs. Uh, I have a 6 red Proxima and Maw, because uh, Proxima hasn't unlocked her 7 star yet. And then a 7 red Thanos, a 5 red Corvus, and a 5 red uh, Cull. So, pretty beefy team. And you can see here, this is a very, very odd Doom team. So they're in security. No uh, engineering next to it, that's fine. But, man, because you got the three tech characters, right? So we got uh, Vision, Minerva, and Doom. They threw Drax in here, and then a really big Human Torch. Uh, so you'll see here how this goes, and uh, man, this is such an odd defense team. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but let's see how this fight goes. So the thing is, they are boosted, so they all have the deflex. Um, Drax is in the back line, which is just an odd choice. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand that. But, uh, yeah, so uh, Torch gets a ton of offense up there. Uh, he does get a defense or offense down on him, but, he, you know, he flips debuffs. So what happens here is because Vision uh, hits into a couple of characters there, uh, he gets the retaliations and dies, and then Minerva brings back immediately, wasting her uh, revive. So that's not good. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I went ahead for the stun on Doom, which of course gets removed, and then the thing is, you still want to use the stun on him because it reduces his turn meter, puts the slow on him, which does stick, and uh, that's important. So you can see here, we're just wailing away at that Drax. Uh, I know that they really can't do anything here because Minerva's way off her cooldowns. Um, so I'm just going for Doom, and I use basics with Call, or I'm sorry, Corvus and Prox to do extra damage on those bonus attacks that they assist on. And yeah, there goes Torch. Whew. Sorry, it's a little late. Uh, here comes the Thanos Assault, which takes out Vision. But the, or no, almost. I guess I didn't quite kill him. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Um, but then I'm like, well, let's just go for Minerva. That's all that really matters here. Um, and, you know, there's the Vision ult. Not a big deal. Just just going to finish this off very easily. Uh, so Doom didn't do, do a whole lot there. Um, that was my first and only attack on him. And uh, I was pretty disappointed. I thought he would be better. I thought he would get uh, more attacks off because he only got to summon the one doom bot now i will say that while that fight was a bit anticlimactic it is interesting as a defense now think about this if you had doom right now what would you do with him right i would probably swap him out for saber tooth on marauders and see how does that go right you got strife there for taunt you got the auto taunt back to strife if any of the villain mutants go into the yellow um i don't know i feel like that's enough protection to get doom a couple of turns and get him rolling but whew, if you look at this team i just wasted a black order on what is essentially a tech guardians type team with doom right so if doom is scary enough especially at Four red and tier 15, uh, 155,000 power. If he's that scary that he's going to pull a black order while using basically spare parts around him, that's a pretty good defense team, right? Because that means you're wasting one of their black orders on that. It's, it's, it's doom and a bunch of spare parts. Uh, that's not a bad strategy for war, right? So in war, it's all about attrition, right? How, how much can you force them to waste on teams? How many defenses can you get? Not necessarily uh, yourself, but collectively as an alliance. Um, all these things really matter. And so when you think about the use of Doom, you don't need some killer team that's going to constantly keep rolling and, and you know get attacked 20 times. Uh, that just doesn't exist. Uh, the only time we ever see that is when there's one really, really big team at the end of war. 
and the enemy just doesn't have anything to clear it. So we gotta we gotta think about that. This is not necessarily a bad team. The other interesting thing is if I was trying to X Force it, um, the Drax would screw that up, and then potentially potentially the Minerva Revive could mess up things up too. Um, just kind of depends on how the fight goes. Uh, I would be interested to see how X Force does against that team. I know that they can nuke our uh, nuke Dom. Uh, Dr. Doom if they get the chance, but with Drax or Red Guardian there, uh, they gotta go through that taunt first, and that could be problematic, so something to think about, just something to think about. I thought this was an interesting fight just because, you know, Doom, he's, you know, he's a big boy, uh, he does a lot of stuff, and uh, I don't know, it's just, it's an interesting character, so this is my first attempt at him, and uh, it was fairly easy. And you can see here, I was able to flip right off the bat too, because there's nothing really to flip against me. Um, so that's something else to think about. It's just, you know, when Black Order comes in with all these buffs on spawn, it's going to be hard to really do much, right, on defense there. So just how it goes. But this, uh, this is this is a pretty easy fight. Um, that is a truly maxed Doom as well. Um, so you got to keep that in mind too, uh, being. G15 and you know completely maxed. Uh, that's that's a lot of resources, uh, and not getting any defense wins is not, not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, a little disappointing when you have a godlike character like that. If you remember when Ultron first came out and uh, people were finishing DD2, uh, everybody's putting him on defense, right? And uh, you know putting him with some tech characters or whatever. And it's crazy to think about how much things have changed since then. But here, we're just seeing it's pretty simple to finish him off as long as you can get to him early. So, I'm just speculating here, but I'm wondering if a Red Guardian and Drax combo might be right uh, for this one to try and keep the uh, focus away from Doom so that he can get his ult off. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but for arena defense as well, uh, I think there's better things that we can do with De Doom than, than this for sure. Um, just not quite sure what yet. So, I'm eager to get him eventually. Once I finish DD4 in yeah, a couple of months or whatever, um, definitely have some fun with theory crafting. So, anyway, I uh, just wanted to show that, show what it's like fighting in Doom. Not all that interesting. Hopefully, we see more in the future and I'll be able to grab those videos and uh, share them with you guys. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I tried to break it down as best I could, but there just wasn't a whole lot to break down because Doom broke down. So, I guess it's still technically a breakdown video, but. Uh, you know, not quite as interesting as I usually have. But anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. I'll see you later.